It's one of the biggest, sometimes scariest moments in a young couple's life when they meet the parents. But here in rural Brigham City, how much tolerance will there be for a different kind of couple? In 2012, what says family here at J&D's family restaurant? If you're white, you're white. If you're colored, you go with colored people. Colored people. In this small town, population less than 20,000, there are some big opinions about interracial relationships. Every time I see it, oh, I want to scream. And the target of those barbs? This couple. It's breakfast time, and as folks come together, this family is about to get an addition, her new boyfriend. I'm so excited for you to meet Carlton. I am excited, too. <gasps> But he isn't quite what Dad had in mind. Wow. Nothing like I expected. <laughs> you didn't tell me he was black. He was black. But this man really isn't racist. What's wrong, Dad? And these two aren't really a couple. Hi, I'm Olivia Osler. They're actors hired by us to portray a very touchy scenario. All right, everyone, we are rolling. Our hidden cameras are rolling. And back inside, people are clearly paying attention. You can't marry a black guy. What's the matter with you? Dad, stop it. How did you even get into my daughter's school? A basketball scholarship? Actually, no. I, uh... Ten minutes go by, and so far, everyone remains quiet until... This is just... Not a chance. Not a chance. When the dad departs... I'm literally sorry. Yeah, it's all right, sweetie. You're okay. This man speaks up. One second. Speak up. I speak up for myself. I heard him. Yeah. What do you think I should do? I think cool off. But this next man isn't about to cool off. How'd you grow up? How did I grow up? Yeah, you're a single mom? As dad heats up, so does he. What about the gangs? You have absolutely no idea what you're messing with right now. It's not natural. Oh, wait, wait hold on here. Watch this. I don't know a thing about this guy, but I've heard you talk to him and my dad about as long as I'm good at it. Am I talking to you? I'm sitting with my daughter. I don't give a damn. What's your issue? What's the problem? I'm going to sit here and listen to my gracious first words. What? He's another person. How you doing, sir? It turns out it's Jason Clark's 40th birthday, but his reaction is really what's worth celebrating. This is part of a TV show. Are you me? No, no, it's not. It's not something that's common, uh, and I probably grew up a little bit with my view, maybe a little bit the other way. What changed your view? A lot of experience. <laughs> Well, I mean, what, I mean, is that why you're so upset? I mean, I... We're about to see something that makes our actors almost lose control. I mean, I appreciate, I mean, you're, I, I appreciate this. Let, let her talk, let her talk. I was on the cliff there for a minute. I was getting emotional. Inside, you were dying. Uh, I was just really shocked. I was raised knowing that this stuff would happen, and it's happened before. And you're about to find out why. Meet these two women. Hey! This is Carlton. This is my dad, Jeff. I'm Carlton, Jeff. Yeah, yeah. Nice, nice, to, nice, meet nice to meet you too. <laughs> I just don't like what I'm seeing here. I just as our actors battle it out, folks can't help but overhear. Sir, with all due respect, this is a new era. But whose side are they on? We find out when we tell our couple to leave. I don't care what you think. Oh, no, I don't care. No sooner are they out the door. Oh, God. I am with you. Thank you. Thank you. I think they should stay with them. And they unleash. I, I mean, you see where I'm coming from, right? I mean... Oh, I do. Yes, I'm sorry. This woman is brought to tears. Seriously, what do I do? I don't... Because me, I would have done the same thing. Really? And we're not sure why until she says this. I have, a, I have a daughter that she has a friend that's black. Yeah. And I told her, I says, he's fine to be a friend. You are never going to get involved in the kids. I said, no, I'm not. It's just my friend. And I we're just friends. But you know what I'm saying? Yeah. I, I worried about that. Yeah. Right. You know? You're a very honest man. Back in the control room, we're watching it unfold. See, it's made me cry to think a pretty girl like her should take something like that. Oof. 
and he might be a nice young man, but they stay with their own. Am I wrong? I mean, am I wrong to think this? No. I'm no, trying to be a good dad. You are. <laughs> you are. I was very proud of you for doing that. Because that's a shock to anybody. But not everyone at the table agrees. All I'm saying, if they're in love, you have no chance. <laughs> okay? That's nice. Sir, and yet, undeterred, she keeps firing. And I looked at her and said, you're beautiful, but you are that. I don't agree with it. Yeah. Every time I see it, I want to scream. She was crying at yeah, no. the beginning no. of the scene. Time to meet these very outspoken women. You've done the right thing. Are you ready? Hi, ma'am. How are you? Hello. I'm John. I'm John Quinones. I'm a reporter with ABC. And I'm Bobby. Hey, you're a famous reporter. What are you doing here? <laughs> they were actors. These Richard. two were actors. And so was the father, yes. Now, you told them if they're in love, there's nothing you can do. That's right. Right? Mm -hmm. yeah. You didn't quite agree with them. I'm sorry. If you're white, you're white. If you're colored, you go with colored people. And keep it in your family. Don't put it in somebody else's. You feel that strongly about this? I've got a lot of friends that are black. But I just feel like when you get married, you marry into the same as you are. Not spreading. I'm a person who loves children. And when their little children go to school, they get beat down every time. Get beat up and every, oh, you're half black, you're this. And I don't like that. It's all right if you're a Mexican person. They're still white people. But black people and white people, no. I'm uh, sorry. Uh, it I'm, wrecks my anyway, heart. I'm Mexican, so I, I, would be o I would be okay. Oh, you'd be okay. I'd marry you in a minute. And what about the woman who was brought to tears at the very thought of her daughter being in an interracial relationship? You know, back in the old days, you know, that just wasn't a thing. And so it's a new thing now, and I think it's okay, but... I don't know, I guess I not just Not for your family. Probably. Not for my family, you know, but I'm, I, I love them. I think they're wonderful people. After all is said and done, we introduce them to our actors. You know, <laughs> well, I just think we should stay with our own, don't you? I don't necessarily agree, but everyone's entitled to their opinion, you know? But I, I, I wouldn't be mean to anybody. It's a stark contrast from earlier in the day. But for our actor, Carlton, it's not only a lesson learned, but a lesson worth sharing. She even hugged you. How did that feel? I, um, weird. Very weird. But I believe in people. I wanted her to know that no matter what she thought, I was still going to shake her hand. I was still, I was still going to hug her because that's how I am. 